My name is Göran Johansson and I live in the southwest of Sweden and I'm a nature photographer and if you like what you have seen you can subscribe here. Hi there, today we are going to blind number two. It's my best blind, but I had to go out early in the morning because uh, it's uh, a little away from my farm and uh, the birds are not so used to me there. And I have fixed sandwiches with cheese this uh, yesterday, so I just had to pack it and, and I will just eat this and drink a little bit coffee and then we would go. So join me in this trip. I forget to tell you that it snows a lot today so uh, I will go by car and if I don't manage to go to the to the main road again when the day is over my friend has promised to come with his car. It's a four wheeled car so he will help me. So, see you at the blind. No, I'm on my way. I'm a little bit late because it was so slippy on the road and uh, there has come a lot of snow. So I parked my car over there. I don't dare to go near her because I have forgot my telephone. So if something happens, me, then I'm uh, lost. And then uh, there's a long way to, to get help. So I had to take it carefully. So, and I even hope that it don't snows too much. So I will come out to the main road when the day is over. Now I'm going home because I have I got my telephone at home and it snows so much that I don't dare to stay anymore uh, because I can't phone anyone if I get stuck here in the snow and I so I'm decided I go home and I will go here tomorrow morning also. Then we are at day number two and today I don't forget the telephone so uh, now I will go to my blind. I hope safely. It's uh, minus two degrees outside and it has snowed this night also so I think it 
would be a great day in the blind. As you can see on the road, I'm the first one who drives here and <laughs> we will see if I can reach my blind because it's so much snow here. Now I have come here, you can see, there's my car and um, I think it's about 15 centimeters of snow so I, <laughs> I will see if I uh, get stuck here but I, I can fix it I think. Uh, yeah, you see here, uh, I was the first one on the road and uh, now when I'm going home I had to go in there and then I go up on that hill. Yeah, I, I think I manage it. it uh, it's not going to be snow today so now I'm going, I can al already hear the ravens. Now on my way, <clears throat> I have my 400 millimeters today. You can see here, it's cold outside and here's the fog from the cold. And there was a raven. I just see a uh, white-tailed eagle and it's an uh, old one. And I hear them, they are screaming. And then when I look in that direction, up there in the paint tree, there was another. And I recognized them because they have a silver ring on its right leg. So there are two white-tailed eagles. And, uh, Therefore, the common buzzer don't dare to come down. But I have, I have uh, enough of photos of the common buzzer, and uh, it's more exciting to have uh, the white-tailed eagle. So I will photograph them when they are uh, leaving from the pine tree or about there, and uh, try to photograph them. And uh, now, when I'm waiting, I will take some coffee. So, cheers! All the birds disappeared and uh, I couldn't see an eagle, I couldn't see a fox. I look around and up here I can see a northern goat's oak. So now I will be quiet and, uh, and hope that he will come down has no blood at all. Now I will go home and uh, see if I can 
come out to the main road without phoning anyone. There was about 20 centimeters of snow in the forest and uh, here where it blows a little bit here is 10 centimeters and it's minus 5 degrees so I will see if if I come up here on that road and uh, then I have about uh, 500 meters till the main road. I think it has been a good day. There was two whitetail legal. There was one northern gauss oak and I think that I was about 40-50 common raven and uh, also only five common buzzard. But if you like what you have seen you can subscribe here. So I'm out on the main road again and uh, I can tell you it wasn't easy. I was so close to phone to my friend and uh, asked him to come and help me. Thank you so much for watching.